We're going to give everybody just a few minutes to jump in before we get started. I don't know about you, but we had an 80 degree day the other day and today is snowing. <laughs> so it's definitely spring. <clears throat> okay, let's see. We'll give everybody one more minute and then we'll go ahead and get started and get recorded. So where is everybody joining us from? Go ahead and type in the chat where you're from. I'm in Utah and that's where I'm at and it's been lovely and then it's been chilly. Texas, Idaho, awesome. Switzerland, hi, welcome from Switzerland. Utah, Oklahoma, it's 60 today, that sounds lovely. Eden, Utah, yes, it's totally snowing over there, Elaine. I think it just passed over us and went to you. Connecticut, Utah, awesome. Well, welcome to see everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and get this recorded. Oh, actually it already is recorded. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Jennifer, my assistant is here to manage the meeting. So we really appreciate her being here. All right, so let's just jump in. I think before I dive in and start showing you the funnels, I wanted to sort of introduce them and talk a little bit about the idea and what they are intended to be and do so that you can figure out um, how to actually, let me turn off my sound real quick on my, the doorbell when everybody comes in. There we go. Okay, so the idea with these are, they are, I, mean, I wanted to create something that was duplicable, right? I feel like that's something we talk a lot about in doTERRA is having a tool or a system in place that not only the diamonds and above can use, but that something your new, newest builders can jump into and feel like they can immediately optimize. That's not overwhelming. It's not, not crazy expensive. It's something that they can do essentially for free um, right when they're getting started. Because that's one of the hardest things, as you know, is when you start working with a new builder is that they they're overwhelmed with all the things they now have to buy sample vials and stickers and essential oils and so this was my attempt to sort of reduce that need and to give them something that they could confidently do with their business so the main idea is i've created different funnels we talk a lot about how you support your customers and i want to make sure that you feel like you are supporting each of them appropriately and nothing is being missed so with a prospect funnel, and I'll walk you through each one individually, the prospect funnel is for all those that have yet to enroll, that maybe you've shared a sample with in the past, or maybe you have, that you've met them at the grocery store and they said they might be interested in essential oils, or this is where you put your names list for your newest, newest builders. This is where you keep all those people and you set up and decide what you want your process to be when you start working with a new prospect. What do you, what do you want to have happen right away? Do you want them to get um, some samples and then a follow-up call with you? And what, what steps do you take essentially? And so I'll walk you through each of those funnels so that you can get a taste for how they work. And then as I'm going through, I would love to, for you all to just ask your questions in the chat and I'll be answering them as I go. And then if you have specific questions on, you know, that funnel or others, again, just totally, totally interrupt me and I'll stop. For, before I jump in though, I wanna get a sense for who is using them currently and who is just here thinking of using them so that I know the level of understanding that we're working with in the room today. And go ahead and type it in the chat. Who's using them currently and who is thinking about using them? And that will help me a little bit know where to start. If I need to start from the very bottom, then I totally can. Brand new. I have access to Trello, but need com tra complete training funnels. What? <laughs> okay, great. I'll answer that. Thinking about using, downloaded them, but a little overwhelmed. Okay, thinking about using them. Okay, so the awesome thing about, about these is that they are... Um, you don't have to be really techy to make this work for you is that when you download them they're already set up so it really is just about adding your people into the boards now and then you deciding what you want your process to be so when you're talking about funnels and what the heck is a funnel it's basically the steps you want your people to experience to be successful so a prospect what are the exact steps that they probably should experience they should probably get a sample they should probably have a follow-up call with you after that sample has been received. They should probably be invited to some, some class or one-on-one -on -one with you. Um, they should probably 
get, gosh, there's so many different things. You know, some people will plug them into their project broadcast and start sending text messages to them, or there's so many different steps. And obviously you can go to Elise Shetty's training or any of the other ones that are out there and kind of see some of those steps. And I've actually taken a lot of them and imported them into the Trello funnel. So even if you aren't following Elise Shetty's process exactly, um, this just gives you an idea. And then you can go and customize it and say, well, I don't necessarily do this, but I do that and you can change it around. And so when I talk about a funnel, don't get scared. It's just basically the process you're doing to support those people. And then once they're enrolled, what are the processes you want those people to experience? And then you kind of customize the board and just put your people in and drag them along. So should we show it to you and kind of walk you through? Okay, I'll start with the prospect funnel and I'll share my screen with you really quick. <clears throat> Okay, can everybody see this? You can? Okay, perfect. And I'm gonna have my chat open so that as you have questions, totally interrupt me and I'll just, if, it's, if you're like, whoa, I didn't understand anything you just said, there's no dumb question because it's probably likely that you, that somebody else has the same question. So if you're like, it seems like everybody else understood that, but I didn't, so I'm not gonna speak up, just ask it anyway, because I bet other people are feeling the same. So the main idea is when you download them, they're going to look like this. It's going to look, you don't have to do anything different to make it look like this. This is how they come. And so let's just say you met someone named Susan at the grocery store as, as a prospect, someone that you got to talking about essential oils with, then you could drop them here into your prospect funnel and you can click into their card and start adding in anything. Oh, actually, let me show you one thing. There are two different ways to add a card. There's this little button that says add another card or there's this card, create card from template. And you've, you'll notice that I've actually created a little template card here that's populated with a bunch of different things. And so if you want your template card to look differently, then you can go in and customize this before you start adding in your contacts. And you say, okay, well, before enrollment, this is what I'd like to do, but I, may, I think I may, all, may also want this to happen right here. Um, and that kind of thing. So you can customize it how you want it to happen. Some people don't even use the card. They just use the name and drag them along. So basically what you see in the card is also what's up here at the top so that you can see them in two different ways. Some people are very visual and some people like it written out. So I kind of put it in two places to, to get both. So you can see because I created this card with Susan, there's nothing here here because I created it with the add another card button. But if I created Susan here, then suddenly her card will now be populated with all of the template items that I included. <clears throat> okay, oh yeah, thank you so much, Jennifer, for adding that link. So I'm gonna delete this other one and we'll just assume that the template is how I like it. And we're just gonna drag her in the very first step. Has she had the first initial contact? Yes, because we talked at the grocery store. So now if she's in this column, this is what she needs next. She needs her samples to be shipped. and. I've included a lot of different resources to make that step happen. And you may use different resources and that's totally fine. So you can customize this and you can say, well, I don't use pirate ship, but I use PayPal shipping. And so you can add that here. I've included a bunch of, of shipping supplies that you may wanna have on hand. And this is really helpful for those new builders who just don't know what they should have. And if you have an assistant, I've given some ideas on what they can do for you, but you don't have to have an assistant to support you in this process. But obviously if you do, there are things that they can do to relieve some pressure on you. And so basically you're just gonna drag Susan along the funnel. What you need to do is every day, once your people are in, is come to your boards and see who needs me. Where, what are, has this person been in this column for a week and still waiting for her samples to be shipped? Well, let's get her moved over. Let's, let's get them shipped so that we can actually make this next step happen. So let's say we, we sent her samples and we moved her over here. And I'll, consistently, you probably have experienced this, that you send some samples and it's, ah, it's been two weeks and I still haven't followed up with them to see how their, their samples and are going for them. So to make that simpler so that you don't forget to do that follow-up, you can click on that person and add a due date to it. So if I shipped them on Thursday, it'll probably take, you know, a couple of business days for them to still get there. So maybe I'm going to schedule my follow-up call for them on Wednesday. And then you click save. And now there's a, due, a deadline attached to it. So you will get notified by email and on your phone if you have your, your the phone app downloaded and the notifications enabled, you'll get notified that says 
um, Susan has a due date. And so you'll, re you'll remember to go call that person and, and have that follow-up. Now, the cool thing is when you click on resources for the follow-up, I've included Elisa's scripts that she has in there. And you can, again, customize them. So if they don't work for you, make them your own. But this is a, a great space to start, right? It gives you a foundation to build upon. And so that's awesome. So then she has now her class one-on-one -on -one reminder. And so many people are, are using so many different things. You can just text them or you can use something like Project Broadcast. If you're using Project Broadcast or tell me if you are or are not using Project Broadcast in the chat, because I know that some people are diehards and use, has been using it for a long time and others have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> no, okay, awesome. So what Project Broadcast is, there's these four diamonds that got together and they, they created this. Oh, good. Well, this is great. This is great news for all of you then. So maybe I'll stop sharing for just a second because I feel like if nobody knows about Project Broadcast, we should maybe stand, spend just a second on that. So one person does. Yay, Brittany. <laughs> okay, so let me tell you about Project Broadcast. These four diamonds and above got together and realized they needed a lot. A lot of their people were not engaging through email or through social media. And so they wanted to have another medium that everybody's using to engage with their customers, prospects, and builders. So they created these scripts, these texting scripts, specifically for doTERRA leaders that they can use, that everybody can use and send to their customers. And they're all editable, they're all everything. So for example, one of the scripts might be, um, the first script might say something like, like, hey, this is this is Wayne. I'm part of your upline support team and I'm really excited to support you in your essential oil journey. If you would like to get some really juicy tips um, for this week on whatever, whatever, spring cleaning, since that's kind of where we are in the season right now, then reply back with the word cleaning and then they'll, you'll automatically get one text a day for the next seven days with my favorite cleaning tips. And they've already created those scripts for you and images for every single text. So the moment they reply back with cleaning, then those messages automatically go out with no effort from you and it just happens. And so they, what they've done is they've taken those scripts and dropped them into a system called Project Broadcast. Now there's something to know though, is that Project Broadcast is, um, it's still gonna stay around, but the ECC, the Essential Connection Co. ladies have decided they wanted to have a, a control over their own texting platform instead of using a third party. So they are moving away from Project Broadcast and they're gonna start using something called Nudge Texting. Um, and I'm, I'm not like an affiliate with Nudge or anything like that. It's just an awesome resource that if you're looking for something like that. Um, yeah, I'm and Elaine, I'm trying to give updates as soon as I hear that it's basically, we don't know because they're, they're in beta right now on creating their, they, it's already created. They have a beta team experiencing it and working out the bugs right now. And then I've heard that maybe this summer it will be live, but I really don't have any firm date, but you can join their Facebook group I think when you purchase the program and they'll give you access to it and you can see when the updates are. But anyway, that's a really awesome texting tool. And so when we're talking about these funnels and you're wanting to follow up with somebody and send them a reminder for classes, you can send that right through your, your texting service of choice. And I, I currently use Project Broadcast for my business. Not even, I'm not even doing like doTERRA stuff with that. I'm just using it for my business to maintain my relationship with my customers um, with my, my assistant program, which is what I mainly do. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that later. But let's go back to the funnels and I'll kind of walk you through those. Okay, so she now has had her reminder with whatever system you end up using. And then you're going to teach your class and you're going to give them maybe some hostess gifts and whatever. But let's say that you want a different step to happen in between all of this. You're going to come over here and click add another list and you're going to call it whatever you want and say, I actually don't do this at all, but I do something different between here and here. And so then you can say whatever it is that you want that to be, add in all of your own details, your own checklists, your own whatever. And you can make that a very customizable funnel or process for you. Let's say that you don't do this at all. You can just click on the three little dots and click archive list and the whole thing will disappear so that you can make this actually work for you and how you actually operate. So I'm gonna do that right now, archive list. Any questions so far on, on the, the, the prospect funnel? Okay, so this is pretty simple. And one of the things to know is that every, Every board has a special power and they call it a power up. 
and you can kind of get lost in looking at all the different features you can add to your Trello, but I'm just going to show you, but I'm going to give you the warning that you don't spend forever in here <laughs> trying to figure out what power ups you want to use because in the very beginning it's just about getting people your people on the boards and starting to move them along in your process and figuring out what your process is right. So don't get overwhelmed with trying to figure out what all the power ups do. So you're going to click over here where I just did on show menu and then you're going to click on power ups. And here's where you can kind of go go searching. Some of the power ups that I really, really like are this two way card marrying with Unito. What this one does is that let's say you have a customer who is also a new builder. And so you have them in two different boards. Um, if you make a change in one board, instead of having to go and copy and paste that new change in their other board, it would mirror each other. So any change you make in one would reflect on the other. So I really like that one. Each board can only have one power up on the free version of Trello, by the way. Some of the other ones I like are, there's the, the shipping one and we'll show you that one soon. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of different things. There's calendar views, you can connect to Slack. Anyway, if you're ever wondering like, if can I get my, my, my board to do something different, come search here and it likely has some similar capabilities, but don't get lost in there. Okay, let's say now Susan has gone through the entire process and now she is ready to be moved to the customer funnel. She is enrolled and she's ready to go. So we're going to click this little pencil and we're going to click move and we will go just click on customer funnel. I have way too many Trello boards, so yours won't be nearly as overwhelming as mine, but um, then you'll click on customer funnel and move. And now when I go to my customer funnel, there is Susan just hanging out waiting for me to move her along. So I'm going to move her here. Generally, you want to, again, figure out what your process is, but most people, when they, somebody first enrolls, they want to send a welcome email or a package of some kind that says, yay, you're in, welcome to the team, here's all the things, here's continuing ed, here's my, here's how to schedule a wellness consult with me, and here's, you know, doTERRA's contact information, if you need customer support help, all the things, and in the resources, I actually have a welcome email template that you're welcome to use um, right here. I've given some ideas and what you can include in a welcome package if you really wanted to. I know that some people like to send something in the mail instead of um, just an email. So that gives you a whole bunch of ideas. But remember, don't look at this and be like, well, I'm not doing any of that. So this is really overwhelming and I can't do this. Just make your board work for you. What can you commit to? Can you start with a welcome email and then move to everything else? Do that then. Don't get overwhelmed with like, wow, this is all really overwhelming. And I, I, would, I would like to be doing these things, but I just can't. Start with one, get that to completion and get kind of a rhythm and then move to the next thing. Okay, so lifestyle overview is very similar or wellness consults. You wanna make sure you get that scheduled. And again, if you have an assistant, they can reach out to these people and say, hey, I would love to get you on so-and-so's calendar so you can have your wellness consult that comes with your membership. Um, anyway, continuing ed, continuing ed. This is one thing I did want us to talk about though is LRP support. If you've ever heard, how many of you ever heard of Betty Torres, one of the, the top ranking leaders in doTERRA who has this phenomenal retention rate? So what she does, she has this incredible system. And again, don't get overwhelmed, start, start with what works for you. But this is what she does. And she has the most incredible retention rate in doTERRA. When somebody enrolls and they start their, and she does their wellness consult with them afterwards, then she gets them set up on LRP right away. And she has that whole conversation. And once they get started, so she sets it up for them. So they're, she's doing it for them and asking what they want. And then she actually goes into their back office and everything. So obviously they've given her access to their back office where they say, yeah, you just do it for me. Here's, here's my password. So you need to ask for that and say, would you like me to help you set this up for the first few months so that you don't have to and you can get comfortable with how it works? And then if they say yes, then they give you their login information and you actually go in and do it for them. So she does that for three months and then months four through six, she helps them do it. So this is the whole principle of teach a man to fish and then he'll feed himself for a lifetime instead of just handing him a fish. I'm, I'm terrible at sayings, but you understand what I'm talking about. So four through six, then she, he, she helps them. So she says, hey, just a reminder that your order is about to process um, in, the, in the next week what would you like to have on it? And is there a time that you and I can sit down together for just 15 minutes and I can show you how to do it so that I don't, you don't need me to do it anymore. And then, so she gets on a quick little call, shares her screen and then, um, and helps her do it. 
or helps the customer do it. And she does that for three months, every month sending a reminder that it's going to happen and then does it. And then months seven through nine, all she does is reminds them, says, hey, just a reminder that your LRP is going to process in a week. You may want to go in and update it so that you don't get the same things you got last month. And then that's all she does. And I've included the scripts, months one through three, four through six, seven through nine. And so it's just easy peasy. Drop it in your project broadcast or just your regular texting, you know, your phone, whatever. And that's how she keeps her, has the highest retention rate because what is, what is this? It's network marketing, right? This is a relationship business. Just because they purchased them one time doesn't mean they were going to continue to purchase them. They, they, we, we purchase based on emotion, right? If we first, if we see a result from the product and two, if we know, like, and trust the person who we're purchasing from. And so you need to establish that relationship. And this is how she does it. And it might sound really overwhelming. Like, wow, what if I have 15 customers and they're all at different phases of this process? Then this is what she does. She batches it. So the first, she, she only does it like twice a month, usually sometime before the 15th. And then maybe again, in the it's towards the end of the month. And so all of her customers, like on the fifth of the month, she schedules all of her LRPs for that date so that she's text sending them all the same text message all at once and then scheduling all of the Zoom calls back to back with how to like set their thing up or or if they're not yet at that, that phase where they're, she's helping them do it, she's still doing it for them, then she does it kind of all in one little sitting. And then, then that way it's not taking over her life um, every single day of the month. And I thought that was pretty cool. So that's that, and again, Take it for what you will, start small and figure out how you can, what you want to do. Um, I have included these three and six and 11 and a half month check-ins. So even if you're not ready for this, um, these are really great to starters to ensure that you are having that connection with your customers. At three months, here's a message that you can send them. And at six months, and the crucial one is 11 and a half months, because what do we know that happens at 12 months? Their order or the, their account is going to renew their membership. $25 fee is going to happen on their account. And you've probably all experienced a customer that says, hey, what is this random $25 on my account? I didn't order this. And they forget that this is a membership that renews annually. And so if you beat it before that happens and you say, hey, I hope that things are going well. It's been so great to kind of work with you, whatever, whatever. Just a reminder that your membership is going to renew on such and such a date. And um, it's awesome because you'll still get a free peppermint and you'll still get access to wholesale pricing. Just don't be alarmed, whatever you know what I mean then you can kind of send that before it even becomes an issue okay and now um it would be great to have her do maybe a business made easy class um look I always using Susan as the example it looks like um anyway and then you would move her to the builder funnel if she decides to move and let's say that you know you she's done all of these things but she still needs something there's still something so then you figure out what that something is and make it part of your funnel or part of your process and add it here so now we're just going to move um, oops, that's not archive her. Let's move her to the builder funnel. We're gonna go all the way down to builder uh, builder funnel. Just, just let's assume that she builds. Obviously, not everybody does. They may stay customers and never move to builders, and that's fine. So here's Susan. Now, the way that the builder funnel is is split up is sort of two different parts. Basically, from here to here, this is all before they've chosen to actually commit to building, and then this is when they actually have decided I'm in and I wanna build. So Susan has said that she's, you know, you've extended the invite for her to build and now what happens? Now we should probably send her a nurturing email of some kind. So when you invite her to build, by the way, here's a whole bunch of scripts from Elise Shedevy that you can, you can use. And then from Emily Pfeiffer, who's also a diamond in doTERRA, she's speaking at, spoken at leadership a few times, she's fantastic, from Hawaii, just fantastic. And she, this is kind of the, the things that she sends to people when they say, yeah, I want to build. She'll send them five little really short videos to give them a taste for what doTERRA is all about. And I've included those videos here. Some of them are, you know, what is an essential oil from doTERRA, the, you know, a little bit about the, um, the sourcing of the oils, the purpose, like, and you know, Seth Risen Mays, the shortened version of his building a financial pipeline. And then um, Tiffany Peterson, Peterson's service, not sales, little awesome little thing. And so you send this little email and then you follow up within 48 hours and say, hey, I just wanted to check in and see if you got to see those videos and what you thought. And I have the script right there. And then you, you send possibly another email that says, awesome, if you love those, then let me send you a little bit more. And this is where you get more into kind of the compensation plan and, 
and how how the whole thing works. And then there's they may decide, okay, I'm in after you have that follow up again. So now they're in, they want to build. Now they're they need some nurturing and hand holding those first, especially six weeks. And so I've made it easy by taking all of Elise Shedevy's 30, 60, 90 day plan and put them into the Trello board. So when you click on week one, these are all the things that you would probably want to make sure that you discuss with your new person on week one. So right when they decide to build, schedule a recurring call for the next six weeks that you sit down and talk with these people and you, you're, you can go over all the things that they need to do to kind of get going. And you don't want to wait too long because once they've committed and decided, yeah, I want to do this, we know that there's a honeymoon period with all things that we ever commit to. And so you want to grab them when they're excited and help them be and be present for them when the doubts come in because they will come in and you want to make sure that they have that support from you along the way. And so here's that first checklist. And I've included, included the, um, the daily mentor calls and everything. And then same with week two, there's a whole bunch of things. And essentially you're kind of getting them prepped to like, here's, you know, let's get your LRP set up. Here's the sampling tools that you need to order. And now let's get some classes on the schedule. Let's actually like schedule some of these people and get your names list and whatever. And again, if there's certain things that you don't do, then just change it up. And so for the first six weeks, they're getting help with you. And you're also helping them to teach those first few classes. And then you're kind of supporting them as needed week seven through 12 and um, week 12 and then and then kind of ongoing after that and maybe other things that are not included in here could be a regular team call a business team call with all of the team where you're upline or where you have a team call with all the builders once a month or whatever it is that you provide that's ongoing support and so anyway any questions about that that's kind of the idea with the three main funnels so before I move on, I just want to make sure that there are no questions there and that that makes sense. Cool. Okay. Now I want to show you a couple of boards that are different than the funnels. And so even if you're like, ah, I don't know about the funnels, but you at least need these, I promise. So the shipping tracker, how many of you feel like you're sometimes drowning in all the things that you need to ship? This is going to solve that problem. It's basically your master shipping list. So let's say that Matthew had, um, you're, you want, you were going to send him some samples. And so we're going to create, um, um, oh, whoops, actually, yeah, that's fine. So there's, all you need to do is go into create a little card for Matthew and click track package. So wherever you shipped this from, maybe it was USPS, you're going to type the name like samples for Sally or samples for Matthew, whatever it is, and then type in the tracking number. And I'll just use that one as an example. And I think this was from USPS. And you'll see that they're global. There's from Germany and France and all over. So it's not just US. You're going to click track. I think that was USPS. Oh, and look, it just populated before my eyes with all the tracking information. And so this one actually has already been processed in transit and delivered. Like it's already done. And so here is that sample that, that, that shipment already here. So when your board is populated, you'll have some that are in trans shipped, some that are in transit and some that are delivered. But how irritating is it to have to go and find that tracking number and like drop it into the USPS website and then figure out where the heck it is. Now you can just see at a glance, like, oh, it looks like Matthew, your sample samples have been delivered. He's like, well, I haven't received them. And then you can look at it and be like, hmm, it looks like on October 13th at 3.56 per PM, in fact, um, it's the time that it arrived at your location. And then if they still say that they haven't seen it, then they know to contact their mail, mail carrier to figure out what the heck happened. But that way, it's sort of all organized for you and you don't have to do anything for it. So helpful. Is that that helpful? Okay, the next one I wanted to show you is the qualifying leaderboard. Actually, I do want to show, let me stop sharing my screen really quick before I pull up this other one. Okay, off topic, let's see, Elizabeth says, but I wanted to ask maybe at the end, I have seen Voxer a couple of places, what is it? That's actually a really great question. While I'm pulling this up, let me answer that question for you because I love Voxer. Voxer is a real, it's like an, a voice messaging app. So if you're familiar with Marco Polo, it's a, it's a video messaging app where you can send video messages. Sorry, I'm trying to pull up this project management board so that I can show it all to you while I'm talking. And then, um, um, Voxer is basically to leave audio messages and written text messages. So for me, I'm always on the go. And so I love to use it as like a walkie talkie with my assistants with like Jennifer and I'll send her like a, just a, a quick message through audio if I'm in the car and I can't like text, but I can leave audio messages all day long. So that's what Voxer is. Okay, here is the project management board. 
Um, this is just very, very simple, very, very basic. But the idea is, and I pre-populated it with some ideas, and you can, again, remove everything that is not, doesn't resonate with you. Let's say this is your to-do list. The first column is all about a brain dump. Every idea that you have floating around in your head that you know you need to get done, brain dump it. So Trello has a phone app that's free. You download to your phone, and you're going to... Um, you're going to just brain dump everything. So before bed and before all of your, your thoughts start invading with, so you can't sleep, pull out your phone and your Trello board and start typing in all the thoughts that you have. And when it's actually ready to start being worked on, then you can move it over to NQ. Now we're actually working on it and we're ready to process it. Um, working on it now, projects are done. And then there are some daily, weekly, and monthly ideas of things that you can do regularly to support your business. And you can delete, again, all those columns if those are just overwhelming to you. But I would recommend not having more than like one to three things here in the queue at once. Otherwise, you're going to start feeling like I have 15 things that I've started, but nothing is actually finished. And so the idea is that you're you're seeing it to completion and you can add your own little checklist here and say, OK, to get oil camp done, here's all the things that I need to get. I need to actually do to make that happen or think of the idea as as macros and micros. Oil camp is your macro, which is the big project, but there are multiple micros that make the macro happen. Does that make sense? And so if you can focus your your to do's in this kind of format, you'll get a lot more done. And this is a really great way also to work with your assistant, by the way, is that you use a board like this. And so that you can you can all you know, as you're creating tasks, you can say, OK, this one is my assistant. Um, and I want it due on this date. You can add due dates and attachments and everything. And so anyway, that's kind of how that works. And the last board that I wanted to show you, it looks very simple, but it's the qualifying leader board. So this is where you're gonna put all of your main, main builders. You're gonna put your front line up here at the top. So we're gonna put, let's see, we'll call him Dan here at the top. And then you're gonna put, make a card, whoops, use this one, create a card from template. Dan, we're going to put Dan right there. And then we're going to put all of Dan's builders underneath him. So Dan has, oh, JC, <laughs> I'm just coming up with names, um, and all the other leaders underneath. And so what this does is now this is where you're going to do your mentoring sessions. So when you do a mentoring session, like I showed you with your builder board, and you have those seven weeks of support you're actually going to be tracking your conversations here in this board. So let's pull up JC and you're gonna have your little conversation with her and you're gonna type in checklist and you're gonna maybe say the date of the, of the meeting. So today is April 15th and here's all that we talked about. Um, she is having trouble with so-and-so. We talked about her reaching out to that person in this way and I was gonna send her this document and da 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 so that nothing is missed. So that you never forget like what you said you were gonna do and what they said they were gonna do. So then next week when you meet with JC again, you can be like, oh, last week it looks like we talked about these things. Were you able to do these ones? I was able to send you that document but were you able to do these other things? And then you're able to follow up again and then you create a new checklist and you say, okay, the next one is April 28th or whatever it is and now here are all the notes from that call and it just keeps everything organized so that you can re reflect back on the history of what you've all promised to do and you can hold them accountable because that's what these new builders really need is you to hold them accountable to the things they've said they were going to do and so that's awesome um it's in amazing because i used to work for Callie Wilson as her, her assistant, she's a presidential diamond, and she would not mentor anyone unless they had um, the, her, their Trello board, Trello funnel set up, um, because she, she, it was too much chaos. They'd be at the grocery store, and they'd be like, hey, I'm ready for a mentor call. She's like, no, you're not. You're not ready for this conversation if you're at the store. We need to be at the computer, looking at the boards together, getting stuff done. And so she she wanted to make sure that they could commit to the process, that she was using her time well by committing to them to spend every week on a call with them. And so if they were willy-nilly just like, yeah, 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 I'll go do whatever, and then they actually never showed up, this was a way to get them to commit to the process. And so anyway, helpful. What questions do you all have about, you know, all of this? I know that we've talked about a lot and everybody, it seems like most people that were here were newer to Trello and somewhat overwhelmed. So I want to know, did this re did reduce some of that overwhelm? Do you feel a little bit more confident jumping in? And if not, what can I do to help? What questions do you have? 
Is Trello free? Great question. So Trello has a free and a paid version. I think in the free version, and I always forget because I keep updating their, their plans, but Jennifer, if you want to maybe include their pricing link, I think that you can have like eight or 10 boards in a team for free, and then you can only have one power up per board for the free version of Trello. And they may have a few other different things that are that they've changed recently. But if you wanted to pay for Trello, you could, but you don't have to, as long as you don't have too many boards all at once. And so I think I have like eight different funnels, which is about how many you would want anyway. Okay, other questions, anything else? Cool. So I have to run, I have, a, I have another, um, I have to go pick up my kids from school, but I wanted to make sure that everybody felt really confident in how to use these. So a little bit about me, I didn't really introduce myself very much. You're probably wondering who the heck is this person, but I'm Megan and I actually help people create tools and systems and processes. And I also help people find and train their virtual assistants. Since I used to be Elise Shedevy's assistant and Callie Wilson's assistant, I've now created a program that helps to support other leaders like you so that they, you can have your own virtual assistant supporting you and your business that are trained and know how to actually help you. And so I show them these boards and I do a lot of other things with them as well. And so that's a little bit about what I do. And then I have people that are international and say, I need someone that is in Austria. Right now I'm working with someone in Austria. I helped someone recently find someone in Australia and in Chile and in Romania. I'm kind of all over the place. And so if you need someone that speaks a specific language or has a very specific skill set, then that's um, then that's kind of in my wheelhouse. And that's all that I do, which is really fun. Uh, Wayne says, can multiple people access a board? Yes, that's the awesome thing is that you can add um, right up here. I'll show you my screen really quick. You can see that this board actually has two people on it. So there's my other assistant, Jamie, and I are there. So you can invite someone to that board. You'll just need them to create a free Trello account first. And then whatever email address they use to create their Trello, Trello account, you would use that to invite them to that board. And that's how you do it. So you and your assistant can work in there simultaneously, which is really awesome. Perfect. Well, if you have no other questions, then I'm going to say, say good afternoon and have a wonderful um, afternoon, evening, depending on where you are in the world. And shoot me up if you have any questions. My email address is support at meganloyd.org, and we'll be in touch soon. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good afternoon.